Hi guys, it's Scott here again, and in this second dimensioning video, we're going to introduce you to some of the shortcuts and shorthand techniques that the Australian Standard 1100 allows us to use to simplify the detail drawing process. The first shortcut that I'll explain is how to use symmetry lines to minimize the number of dimensions that you have on your drawings. So the center lines, these dashed lines that we see here and here, can be used to imply symmetry between features. So in this example here we have 30 millimeters, in this case we'll assume millimeters, dimensioned between this edge and this line here which is on the center line of this circle and also this whole feature. So rather than having that dimension there of 30 to show it's in the center, we can simply extend this dimension line a little bit further so that it crosses over this uh, edge of the part here. We know that this edge is 60, so if this symmetry line crosses over here, we know that uh, both this circle here and also this pitch circle, which we're using to locate these three holes, is located at that distance. We can also do this down here as well by joining the symmetry line from this square, this one here, to these symmetry lines that are going through this pitch circle diameter. And in this way, we can eliminate this additional 30 dimension over here. So let's do that. So then we can drop away that 30 dimension. It's also possible to extend it further so that it crosses over this line here. And in this way, we avoid having this additional 10 dimension. Currently, to figure out the length of this um, edge here and this edge here, we take the 60, which is this full length here, and we've got the 40 in here and we have to tell it that this edge is 10 and from that we can deduce that this edge here is also 10 in length but by extending the symmetry line again across that line we're able to eliminate that additional dimension. We have some other very handy shorthand methods for dimensioning common features. So this square here, in this case it looks like a square hole, these are very difficult to make and we generally recommend you don't design square holes but if we had a square feature we can choose to dimension it by using this square symbol at the front of the dimension and the dimension of 20 implies that each of these sides is 20 millimeters. Our other shorthand is for indicating the diameter of the holes or the circles that we have in our drawing and this symbol 5 as we've explained before is used to indicate a diameter, in this case 10 millimeters. In this drawing we've got a series of holes and you may be able to see from this picture that they all look the same and rather than us dimensioning each of them individually there's a shorthand way for us to dimension them all in one go and add additional detail which we'll explain now. So we've got 10 for the diameter, we understand that. We've got three holes that we can see in this picture that are all lying on, on this circle which it locates them and we call this a pitch circle diameter. So we can say three times a diameter of 10 to indicate that all three holes are the same size. We can also use additional treatments to the holes. In this case, this symbol here which looks like a bucket indicates a spot face. So that is an additional manufacturing process that we might want to do, particularly on parts that are cast and might be rough on the surface. If we want a bolt or a nut and a washer to sit nice and flat on that face, then we have to go and clean it up with what we call a spot facing tool. And this is an example here. We drill the hole out and this tool cuts a nice smooth and flat surface on either side of the hole. And it's common to also put a diameter on the size of that spot face. So in this case, we want a spot face out to a diameter of 20 millimeters. That's something we use occasionally. Another thing we might say is that these holes are equispaced. And this is a specific term that the standard asks you to, you to use when holes are equally spaced around a pitch circle like they are in this case. We've got a full circle, three holes, so there are 120 degrees uh, spacing between holes. And as I mentioned before, all these holes are sitting on what we call a pitch circle diameter to locate them. And it's common to give the dimension of this circle 
where the holes are located when we're specifying the size of the holes. So we're saying three holes, diameter 10, with spot facing out to 20 millimeters. They're equispaced on a diameter of 50 millimeters pitch circle.